Kia ora, Chrissy back again, and we're going to get into the next episode of House of the Dragon. Like, comment, and subscribe, please. So, we had the season opener last time, uh, Sun for a Sun, and it ended horribly. <laughs> it ended horribly uh, with uh, Helena's son, poor, poor infant son, being decapitated, slaughtered in his bed as recompense uh, for uh, the, the death of Lyceris. Though, obviously, this isn't what Rhaenyra wanted. She wants Aemon. That's what she wants. Well, that's who she wants. Uh, and it was Damon that uh, you know sent these two guys, Blood and Cheese, who I now re uh, realise are members from the Game of Thrones books, uh, to go in and kill Aemon and I guess because they couldn't find him, this is what they did instead. It was still a son, it just wasn't like Eamon's son, and it just wasn't Eamon. I don't know how Rhaenyra is going to take this. I don't think she is going to appreciate uh, the death of a child like this. Um, so if her and Damon don't come to uh, come to a head over this, I'll be very surprised. One thing I did notice the second time around was that when all of this was going on with blood and cheese, you know, uh, killing, killing uh, the son, there were no uh, guards around, which I didn't think anything of it at the time. But of course, a lot of them, a lot of them were down with uh, Aemon on uh, Aegon on the throne, like getting pissed. And um, Christian Cole was obviously, you know, he was he was getting ridden by Alison. So there was no one keeping watch to, to you know, to stop all of this madness from going on. Uh, other than that huge uh, ending, that, that huge cliffhanger, uh, our families, the Greens and the Blacks, they are doing their thing, trying to recruit these houses to come to their sides. There's a lot of underhandedness going on at the moment, obviously, uh, like around like Otto and uh, Laris was getting in there as well, trying to get Otto the boot, I think. Uh, you can see Eamon doesn't hold Alicent in very high regard. Uh, but yeah, a lot of a lot of crazy stuff going on at the moment. But my main thing right now in this episode is I am very interested in seeing how Rhaenyra is going to take uh, the death of uh it was Jaehaerys, wasn't it? And also <laughs> his parents, Helena and Aegon. Yeah, so we're going to get into the next episode. If you'd like the full-length reaction to this episode, as well as others of the series and other shows, then you can go to my Patreon. I'll leave the link down in the description box below. Other than that, let's get right into it. Oh, they know. Well, obviously they know. She went running to, to Alicent. Oh no, chaos ensues. If you hadn't been fucking. <laughs> oh yeah. I'll kill them all! I am the king! Please, your grace. Traitors and villains! This is war! I declare war! The search progresses. The villain will be found. The child. The child is dead. His pain is ended. But what have you done to, to, to Micah? Yes. Mm. And they will pay for this. We will mourn as we must, but... Some good may yet come of this. My son is my legacy! My son is heir to the Iron Throne! And where were you? The Lord Commander of my kingdom. Where were you, Christian Cole? A bad. A bad! With whom? You'll know who did this soon enough. Who did this? Who did what? Is there any question who did this? Oh you God! Do this, save the bitch queen of bastards. She's fucking laughing at me. No, she's not. If I may, your grace, my lords, the guard has detained someone. He's a gold cloak. We caught him. 
fleeing the gate of the gods with the child's head in a sack. It doesn't matter. You mean to blame Rhaenyra? Tell the realm she has done this. I would do more than that. A funeral progress. Let them see the child. Let them look upon the works of this pretender to the throne. Wow. It would work too, I'd imagine. I will not have my little son's body dragged through the street like a dead dog. Not dragged. Honoured. Escorted to the dragon pit to be burned as a Targaryen prince. Those who declared for Rhaenyra, will they still support her when they hear of her depravity? Or will they rather not renounce her? Jaehaerys will do more for us now than a thousand knights in battle. Oh, fuck. Why do I feel... Why do I feel for Aegon, uh, Aegon right now? Just... Just his face. I don't like him. <laughs> Let the Silent Sisters ready the prince for his final journey. And riding behind him, his mother the queen, and with her the queen dowager. Pra oh, yeah, prayed out the woman to cry and... Yep. There's to be a funeral for Jaehaerys. We've been asked to ride on a wagon behind his body. I don't want to. Neither do I. When the people share our grief, they draw closer to us. I don't want them closer. I don't know them. Sometimes we have to pretend. Helena, what you saw last night when you came oh. to my room. This is for my boy. I wonder if she'll play a bigger part this season, because, like, her, what she's able to do, you know, is pretty significant. Oh, here we go. Do they just catch the one? Because there was two of them. I was, I was hired by Damon Targaryen. He paid us half now, half when the job is done. Who is us? A, a rat catcher. So he got away, but they left the evidence behind. Behold the works of Rhaenyra Targaryen. Oh, they sewed it back on. Are you gonna hurt me? Yes. No. Lies. But I cannot vouch for his grace. Yeah, you fucking cut his son's head off. Take your take your medicine, mate. Yep. She's going to freak out. She's going to freak out. How about someone get down there and move the fucking stone? A curse! A curse of Rhaenyra, the monstrous. Uh oh. The boy's head was severed from his body. Thousands witnessed the procession. And they are accusing me of having a hand in this. It appears so. Let me fly out on Vermax. Rhaenys is needed in the gullet and I can watch for movements from King's Landing. No. Doesn't want to let him out of his sight. Anything to say, Daemon? Having lost my own son, that I would inflict such a thing on Helena, of all people. <sighs> she knows! <laughs> Did you send assassins to murder children in their beds? I was clear in my instructions. Aemond, the brother of Aegon the Usurper. I cannot be responsible cannot for Cannot be mistake. responsible. If Aemond was not to be found, what were your instructions then? You didn't give any. No. You have wounded me, weakened my claim to the throne, my ability to raise an army, my standing among my own council. I said no. I don't believe you. I have served you faithfully. Have you? 
Or have you used me as a tool with which to grasp at your stolen inheritance? Oh, fuck. Do you accept me as your queen and ruler? Or do you cling even now to what you think you lost? Do you believe he made you heir because of your great wisdom? Because of your virtue? How dare you? Or did he merely use you as a tool to put me in my place because he was afraid of me? I don't think so. He could not trust you any more than I can trust you. You struck down a child. It was a mistake. You're pathetic. Ooh. I knew that I'd come to blows over it, but I mean, what was I expecting, really? I mean, fucking. I, I didn't think still, though, that Damon was kind of holding on to that resentment. I don't know. I didn't think so. When morning comes, take Moon Dancer and keep a watch on King's Landing. I must know which course they take next. My father? He must follow his own path. <gasps> Hello, beautiful. Oh, that's um. I keep fucking forgetting blood worm or I keep forgetting the name of his dragon. Corexes. Okay, 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 okay. Gonna be covered in blood. If you please, my lord. Move, in other words. Now what? What's the fucking plan now? Have you told anyone? Who's he gonna tell? What do you take me for? One who seeks absolution. There is none for what I've done. Who's he gonna take it out on? What is this? The procession was muddy. I'll replace it, Hans. Do it now. Can't fuck the Queen. So he wants to go and beat someone up. <laughs> the white cloak is a symbol of our purity. Our fidelity. Kings guard are a sacred trust. We so easily sully our ancient honour. Wow. Wow. I'll remedy the error. It's not what he was hoping. He wants a he wants a fight. He wants a fight. With King Aegon. And you were not in the private quarters where you might have prevented the crime. Where were you? Oh, Commander. Hmm? Your brother is a thief and a traitor to the crown. And they're off. <laughs> I don't want to have any part of this. First your brother betrays us. And then the young prince is murdered on your watch you are mad sir wow no, what i did. think has no relevance well that's true <laughs> you have brought disgrace upon our ranks and now you must restore it fuck he's an asshole you will go to dragonstone and strike down rhaenyra in her own halls wow ain't happening how would i enter your twin serves there at the pleasure of the so-called queen they will mistake you for him if you play the part you would send me to my death or to triumph Fuck, what a prick. He's so fucking hopeless. Or must I question your loyalty to the king? Fucking As you command. See you next Tuesday. Ugh, he's so gross. <laughs> oh, don't tell me Dan wants getting his rocks off. I know. Oh, okay. Damon sent them to kill me. 
where I was out. You were with me. In truth, I'm proud. Has it got like some kind of me such a foe? mother complex kind of thing going on here? The way that she's holding him? I do regret that business with Luke. Oh. I lost my temper that day. I am sorry for it. I would remind you only that when princes lose their temper, it is often others who suffer. A small folk. Like me. How was she? <laughs> Much the same. Hmm. The markets have been running low since the blockade. Surely the city cannot yet be short of food. Those with means are holding everything they can. The king has promised us some relief. Did he say when? I think, I don't really think he matters right, uh, he cares right now. I'm afraid, Hugh. <laughs> Is this the guy from the, um, you know, when he was talking about in the throne room? You know what I mean. <laughs> Well met, brother. After many months away. This is the guy that Corliss was talking to. I hear Lord Corliss himself commended you for your service to him. He did. Will you sail with him? He made no offer. And I'd rather he didn't, truth be told. Do not be foolish, Alan. Alan, so they definitely have a relationship. To serve with a sea snake is to make your fortune. Had I such a chance, I would leap at it. That's because you haven't seen what I've seen. Remind him of your word. Oh, I need no favors. But brother, he owes you. He owes us. Okay, what's going on? Damon flies when we most need his hand at the oar. Devotion has never sat well with him. Where he goes, he wishes to be his own master. I too have felt the crown pass over me. It is a hard thing to accept. Okay. She can relate. You don't think Damon will challenge her? Not as such. But neither can he allow her to command him. Pity. I have an occasion found that to be <laughs> quite enjoyable. Good for you, Corliss. <laughs> In the meantime, I am here. And Melis. We will not let the Queen falter. She said that was a bit of a worrying look on her face. You're aware of yesterday's events in King's Landing? I am. I gave Damon two names. And that is the extent of it, and I did not wish to do that much. He said it was the price of my freedom. Does he say otherwise? He's gone. For how long? A week. Or well, forever, I do not know. He does do that, doesn't he? <laughs> yes, she knows, Damon. You remember me now. He said he would marry you. He said you carried his child. Not everyone found the jest funny. He would not serve me to set you free. At best, I lose an asset to my cause. At worst, you betray me in some foul way. I have no interest in betraying you, Your Grace. Yeah. Can't really believe a word she says. I was brought to Westeros with nothing. Bit by bit, I earned my living. A house, a household, a home. Then they set it all aflame. Who did? The high towers, I can only assume. But I thank him for it. Damon, Otto Hightower, makes no difference. They will never accept me. I think she gave Rhaenyra a little bit to think about. I don't know. There was like a little bit in there that I thought she might kind of relate in a way. You know, she said Damon and Otto will never accept her. Uh-oh, who was that? How was it? Does it have a rider? Who are these people now? Who are they? Oh. In the king's employ. Hmm. A 
He's laughing. <laughs> Kick me up the ass. <laughs> what have you done? The rat catchers. Oh, I had them hanged. Idiot. Beware how you speak to your king, my lord. Shut your fucking face. <laughs> Plot against the king, and I will pay it back a hundred. They are fathers and brothers and sons, and their wives and children gather now at our gates to weep and curse your name. After all I've done for you. <laughs> careful though, he's just fuck. Be careful. <laughs> Even now, news of Rhaenyra's monstrous crime spreads through the realm. The great houses falter; they cannot but come to our side. I wish to spill blood, not ink. We must act. Sir Kristen Cole has acted. What? <laughs> he has sent Sir Arik to slay Rhaenyra. He's pretending to be his own twin. Brilliant. Gods help us all. It's time the bitch queen paid a price. Instead of judgment, you display impetuousness and diminish us in the eyes of our enemy, ill-considered... Cool. This is the most angry I've ever seen him. Do you never think of your father? His... His... Dignity. Fuck dignity. I want revenge. My father is dead. This is a whole new game now, Otto. You're dealing with a whole new person. And we are the poorer for it. He was right about you. <laughs> He made me king. <laughs> okay, Otto's dying this episode. Remove your badge, Sir Otto. You had to know. Insolent pup. <laughs> Give it to Cole. In this hour, you have proven yourself of more worth than a hundred old men. All right, let's do it. You are dismissed. Fuck, now what? <laughs> I do not know if I trust you. And I sense that there is danger in you yet. But I will keep the word of my house if you say that it was given. You may go. Your grace. Let her collect her things, then have someone take her down and secure her birth on the Corwin. Your grace. And that's where he's going to get switched out, perhaps? Mm-hmm. She's seen it. Get involved or don't get involved. What are you going to do? I'm restless. I will stand this evening's duty. So, Eric. Do not do this. How did he know? Oh, is she, is she here? That door's locked. That was on the other side, right? <gasps> Ow. Oh, fuck. How do they know who's who? I don't know who's who. <laughs> Mm. Which? Which is Eric? And oh, fuck! Oh no! Together. You party dogs! But I still love you, brother. I don't know which one's which. Oh fuck! Oh no! <laughs> I 
I don't know who's who. Eric. Forgive me. No. no. <sighs> Shen. You know as well as I do that Egon must be kept in check, as does Sir Kristen, the two of them together. Egon is still malleable. It is the death of the child that has unstrung him. I can't stay here. Witness to the blundering of our plans, I'll return to Old Town. The is he going to get out of here alive? And you have a son there who will take more kindly to instruction. Daron may yet help us in weeks to come. Daron? They have another son? <laughs> I mean, she has another son? Did I just completely forget about this person? While you're gone, I'll speak sense to him. In time, you may yet return. Oh, shit. She's going to come out with it. I do not wish to hear of it. <laughs> he knows already, I think. What now? Oh, fuck. Stop it. Are you just... Wow. Wow. Really? Oh. You're going to fuck after this, so why the pretense? Ugh. Mm hmm. Mm. Yep. Surprise, surprise. I don't think I could hate Christian Cole anymore, but I just really, really, like, passionately fucking hate him. <laughs> um, and Alison's not too fucking far off. I don't know, like, I don't actually know how I felt about her walking in on Agon. And he's, like, clearly, cr like, he's crying. He's crying his eyes out. <laughs> um, and to see that and then turn around and then walk out. I don't know what she's going through her head. I don't know, you know, whether she has like any sympathy for him or if she's, she didn't feel like she could comfort him because she is to blame. Uh, but it's hard though, because Agon is a horrible person. He's horrible. Uh, you know, <laughs> I have not seen a nice thing um, about him, even like, even when it comes to, like, Jaehaerys, even when it comes to his son, in the previous episode, you know, when uh, they were at the table and his son was there and, you know, uh, he was kind of, like, playing around with them, I don't, I don't think, like, I don't feel that he, like, loved his son. He sure as hell didn't say anything to the effect. Otto said, um, you know, that he, he loved, you know, he was his grandson and he loved his grandson. Uh... But I don't know. I don't know if he, like, I don't know if uh, uh, Egon actually, like, loved his son because he was his son or cared so much because he was his legacy and he was supposed to be the heir, the, the heir to the Iron Throne. Was that what, what pissed him off the most, what he was really worried about the most, and not, yeah, his, his, his son was killed, the son that he loved was killed. I don't, you know, so things like that make me think to myself, don't have any sympathy for him. Don't have any, not sympathy, empathy. Don't have any empathy for him. And then I see him sitting there, bawling his eyes out, clearly having a hard time of it. And I kind of like forget all about that. And I just see a boy crying. Um, <laughs> that is probably more on me than anything. Because <laughs> I, you know, I'm very soft hearted when I'm, you know, I'm very soft hearted. And tears get to me, um, especially when they come in moments of weakness in characters such as that. So I get angry at myself for having that empathy um, with him in that moment, even though I, th I think he's a horrible, horrible person. Damon has gone off somewhere. I don't know. There were like a few little tidbits through this episode that I'm sure they, they all tie in like with um, 
What's his name? Uh, Aaron? I know one was Adam. Like, who are they to call us? What are they? Why, do, why does call us owe them? Uh, and then with, uh, I'm pretty sure it was Adam when he was digging for like clams and that. And then the dragon went over here. What was that about? Like, who was, was that a dragon? Like, I, I didn't recognize the dragon. If it was a, um, a, 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 a taken dragon, so to speak, uh, if anyone was riding it, or if it was like uh, an unclaimed dragon, because why Why would it matter that it f flew over that particular guy? So it's small. And um, the, the guy, uh, was he a blacksmith from, from, from the previous episode you know, when he went home with his wife and his sick child? Like that just kind of like came out of nowhere. Um, that that scene. So I'm sure they all tie in somehow, um, or were they just there to you know let the viewer know what's kind of going on in King's Landing at the moment? You know, food shortages and 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 there's like just no money around. You know, but yeah, lots of things going on. Can't wait to see where it's all going to go. Um, what is going to happen now with Renera? Um, is her and Damon going to be able to patch things up? In the next episode, uh, did the was it's a white worm, right? Did she manage to get word back uh, to Dragonstone, or did she carry on um, onto Pentos? Uh, onto Pentos, uh, I guess we'll have to keep watching and find out. Okay, well we're gonna leave it there for today. Thank you for watching with me. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time for more House of the Dragon. See ya. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. We'll see you next time.